everyone welcome welcome back to my channel today i'm giving you a full cabin tour i just wanted to show you guys because i finally put like the whole thing together this is my cabin this is my bookshelf area this is my youtube studio this is literally everything in between i spend most of my days over here and it is like my favorite space ever so i'm just so excited to share it with you guys finally the first thing i want to show you guys is my porch this is really not where i spend most of my time i'm always inside if i'm being honest first off we have this plant which actually as you can tell this one's alive so i definitely didn't plant this myself and didn't grow this myself then over here we have my dead plants these are obviously the ones that i planted because they are dead it's honestly embarrassing at this point because i can't keep plants alive and i can't grow them to save my life and then you come up here this is my little patio porch it's literally just a porch i live in florida it's super hot so like i don't want to be out here for long periods of time this is where all the magic happens <sighs> Come on in. This is my entire cabin space. This is normally what you guys see most of the times when I'm filming videos, just because like, this is me filming a reading wrap up. I sit here, I talk about books. This is normally where I'm filming. This bookshelf used to be in my closet and I used to use this thing over here instead, this like little shelf. And then I became a booktuber and I started buying like so many books. So I just needed like a bigger storage space for them all. I, I guess I could give you guys a bookshelf tour. This is my bookshelf and all its glory. This this is my rom-com and like romance section which you guys can obviously see like these are my favorite types of books because it is overflowing we have my fantasy section we have all of my like thriller mystery books these are like the more light-hearted thriller mystery books this over here is more like the horror scary ones that i'm like really intimidated to read because they just like stress me out like as you can see we have a stephen king book and then down here is all of my like sports romances honestly i don't think i'm gonna like read these anytime soon because i did try reading the gram effect i just didn't like it that much and we all know my feelings towards icebreaker so that just like stays literally at the bottom of my shelf so we have this which isn't really a sports romance this is like totally different this is like fantasy sci-fi i had no more room on my shelf i guess i could put this in my fantasy section technically but it's gonna live here honestly over here is my miscellaneous books these are like some books that i just like don't really like like we have lucy score over here things we never got over didn't really love that book these are more like three star reads although the upside isn't here which was one of my like top favorite books of all time and then we have the fun part of the bookshelf because this is my favorite section these are all the books that like i would immediately run to recommend to someone like the second they're like hey i've been trying to get into reading these are like the ones i would shove into their face until they finally read them the seven year slip favorite book of all time i will not shut up about this book we have happy place emily henry favorite author of all time this is a very cute little area honestly i don't know i just found a bunch of like miscellaneous things like different memory pieces and stuff that i put up here like these are notes that i used to write to myself when i was like a little depressed little cute family photos over here from 2018 i don't even know what these are if i'm being completely honest with you guys my dad was cleaning out the shed and i was like wait these would be like low-key cute and i was like these are kind of giving like memorabilia vibes i think they play music of some sort don't know how that works i just think it looks cute i really want to pull this out but i don't think i can this is the script from my original welcome video <laughs> Literally, my brother was filming the welcome video. I was obviously in front of the camera. The script lives right here. Then over here, this is my very loud couch. I like if I sit on this couch and try to film a video, like you're just gonna hear squeaking the whole time. This guy, okay, Frank is my man for real, but he did get his nose chewed off by my dog. Down here, we're starting off with my camera equipment. This is all of my like tripods, like everything camera wise. Half of the tripods and they are broken, but I just refuse to clean it out ever. We have my puzzles. Which you guys will see i do puzzles and i don't know what to do with them this is my makeup bag but like everything else is kind of trash and i don't think i showed you guys over here this is like where all my tripods live like my big tripods we have my one that comes with a little light on it the light is sitting on the floor right now we have this tripod which is my main use tripod like this one is so big like i could literally fight an army with this this could be my fencing sword if i needed it to be this is something i never really show you guys just because like it's not that fun it's really not i just hung this little enjoy sign up here my nails are horrible that is just the epitome of i did it myself like you open the door this is my bathroom i would say come on inside but it's just like really tiny we have my guitar i don't really want to take it out of the case just because i don't feel like it but painting over here that i just don't know where to hang at and i guess for the people who are watching who want like all of the content of like oh this is how the cabin works like this is the electricity vibes electric stuff switches i literally 
don't know how to do this. I just, you know, keep it to what my dad switched it to and just pray and hope that it continues working. Like when my solar panels aren't working, I literally have to look in here and see if it's charging. Moving on now, over here is like my least fun place, honestly, in the cabin in general, because this is like my workstation. I have my guitar. This one is like my prop guitar, the one that I don't play because it goes out of tune in like 0.2 seconds. <laughs> We have this little blanket, which honestly, like, let me put this up for a minute so that you guys can see what's going on back here. We have the Hamilton book. I am a theater kid at heart. I love the Hamilton play, and this is all of, like, the behind-the-scenes stuff of it. And then back here, we have my grandpa's puzzle. I found this in the shed, and I want to hang it up really bad, but frame is breaking, so I would need to get a new frame before I did that. I don't really ever show you guys this section, so this is very, like, random for me. I keep my mirrors for my makeup back here because I normally am getting ready in the cabin all the time, so, like, I'm obviously filming YouTube videos. So I'm over here getting ready. I need my mirrors. And then we have my like hair and body mist. It just makes the place smell good. It makes me smell good. This is where I keep all of my like jewelry, necklaces and bracelets and things like that. My friend got this for me. Look at what it says, guys. In this house, we listen to Taylor and cry. Now we're on to my desk area. First and foremost, this is a new addition to the desk area. I just put this up and got this a few days ago. I want to get another one to go right here because it does look out of place right now. This is where I keep my cheaper camcorder. I don't really trust this shelf too much, so I don't want it to to like fall and break so cheaper camcorder keep my camera batteries here we have all of my library books here that i've checked out which obviously is a lot i don't know when i will ever get to all this stuff my journals and notebooks and things like that up here like and then we have all of my hardcover books because i don't want to put my hardcover books on like the bookshelf like, that's not my vibe this is where i get all my work done we have a notebook down here we have a little computer stand which this thing is pretty fun just like stands up your computer it makes it easier for you to like type and stuff and we have a very messy drawer. These are new additions to the cabin. I just hung these up like not that long ago, like two minutes ago. They have yet to fall. I don't really trust any of my building skills, I'm being honest, but they are, they look to be pretty stuck there. I honestly get a lot of my decor from like Dollar Tree. So this is also from Dollar Tree. Now this is my solve to my rom-com shelf being full because these are a lot of the books that would be like on my rom-com shelf. Most of these I have read already and these are honestly some of my favorite books of all time. So I don't really know why these aren't like on my bookshelf other than I don't have room. So I just keep them over here in this corner. This is my little TBR jar mug. You probably recognize this from my TBR videos if you watch those. I didn't even show up there either. This is where all of my like, I guess like older favorite books go. Like we have The Hunger Games, we have Harry Potter. Over here we have Twilight and Divergent. These feel like the same vibe of books to me, so I just keep them up there. And obviously I love Hunger Games, so that's gonna live. And like, you're gonna walk into this cabin, you're gonna see the Hunger Games series. Up here, I'm not gonna go too far up here, honestly. Because, like if I fall on camera, this will be like the funniest video I've ever made. Come up here with me. This is my little bed area. Like literally, I just lay up here and I read sometimes. This next spot I'm about to show you guys is basically the epitome of this is a cabin that I took over that I wasn't supposed to take over like my dad really didn't know I was turning this into my cabin so all of his stuff just like ended up migrating up there I just didn't know what else to do with it and honestly like my mindset is out of sight out of mind the last thing I want to show you guys which is honestly like the best part of the cabin is my view this is my beautiful lakefront view it's just so pretty over here love this cabin space. This is my favorite space I have ever had in my life. I think it's my favorite space because I got to decorate it like all by myself. I have free reign in the cabin and that is my favorite thing in the world. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for seeing my filming space, seeing my little book area. Make sure to follow all of my socials. Links are down in the description box down below. You can follow my Instagram, my TikTok. You can also friend me on Goodreads. I always love stalking you guys on Goodreads. So I'll see you guys super soon. Goodbye. <laughs>